special tribute for a generation of pioneers. 100 years ago today, the 19th Amendment cleared its final hurdle and became the law of the land, giving women the right to vote. To celebrate, a group of prominent women are honoring the heroes who inspire them. They blazed a trail through the streets that led women to the polls. It gives us the power to determine the course of our lives and the direction of our country. A century later, these former first ladies, the first woman in my family to vote, my mother, Jenna Welch, was are joining a chorus of females celebrating the hard won right to vote by saluting the first women who exercised it. By the start of the 20th century, the battle for suffrage was one of the largest mass movements in U.S. history. Women marched by the thousands, turning up the heat on Congress and the president, until on August 26, 1920, when the 19th Amendment became the law of the land. I want to salute my grandma Moffat, who lived in Montana. My grandmother, Mattie Lula Ray. But for African-American women, the battle went on 45 more years till the Voting Rights Act guaranteed their right to vote. Rosalind Brock once chaired the NAACP. Her great-grandmother, Causey Pittman, a farmer in the Jim Crow South, couldn't vote until she was 59. She was ready to cast that first-of-a-lifetime opportunity, not only on behalf of her, but the generations who have come after her. 